This is our special coverage here of this young woman. This is Kayla Mueller, 26 years of age, held by ISIS. She was doing work, aid work in Syria. She's, I've seen her on videos saying she was standing with the Syrian people when she was taken hostage by this terror group. And now ISIS is claiming that Kayla Mueller was killed in this bombed out building. This is their claim um, that, that this happened because of Jordanian airstrikes. Meanwhile, Jordan's government is saying this is all a PR stunt by a terror group. This should not be trusted. Let's talk to Faraz Gerges, chair of contemporary Middle East studies at the London School of Economics and author of The New Middle East, Protest and Revolution in the Arab World, Fawaz. Wonderful having you back on. Uh, you say you don't believe a word, ISIS says. Not even a single word. ISIS has no credibility. Um, ISIS has not given us any evidence that it behaves in any kind of a humane way. Um, I don't buy their narrative. I don't even traffic with their narrative. First of all, the question is not basically who killed this 23-year-old aid worker who went to Syria to help the Syrian people. Uh, they basically uh, kidnapped her in August 2013. They held her against her own will. It's their legal, political, and moral responsibility. If she has been killed, as they claim, which I, I don't buy, I, don't, I, I, I have not seen any evidence, it is their responsibility. In fact, Brooke, they have threatened several times to kill her. They have used her, in fact, as a bargaining tool against the Americans. Why should I believe ISIS today, since ISIS has never said anything that we should basically believe in in the last uh, three years or so. So what is this? This is just ISIS trying to sway public opinion, hoping uh, to, to, to drive this wedge, as we heard from the Jordan uh, interior minister, who, who isn't buying it, by the way, and saying this is a total PR stunt, you know, trying to blame this American death on Jordan. And they're not buying it. Uh, you know, uh, Brooke, uh, I hope she's not dead. I hope this is a PR stunt. Uh, but ISIS uh, craves publicity. They want publicity. They want basically to tell their own narrative. How do they respond to the escalating airstrikes by Jordan? By saying, look, the airstrikes did not kill anyone except an American hostage. No one, according to their story. The, the, the two hours or so of bombings by the uh, Jordanian Air Force killed only one American. First, this is basically a, a, a story that cannot be believed. And secondly, uh, they're trying to say, uh, I mean, look what uh, Jordan uh, has done. It killed an American. Uh, the reality is the Jordanians were not basically bombing on their own. It's all controlled by a central command, basically led by the Americans, that every single bombing in Syria and Iraq is under the control and watched by the Americans. So they're trying to appeal to basically their own followers and convince skeptical Muslim public opinion is that, look, Jordan basically killed this American uh, aid work. The reality is, I mean, I think uh, uh, people don't, don't believe this stuff anymore. ISIS has uh, shown itself, uh, truly, uh, uh, their own true color by beheading by killing, by raping, by burying children alive, by burning a captured p a pilot alive and bragging uh, about. So uh, what do I say? All I have to say is that, first of all, I don't have any evidence. Secondly, I don't believe a single word they say, even if she had been killed by a Jordanian airstrike. Even, let, let's say so, which I should not be saying this on air. It is their moral, legal, and political responsibility. They took this young woman against her own will. She was helping the Syrian people. They're supposedly defending the Syrian people. Look, they're kidnapping and capturing aid workers and journalists who are trying to tell the story about the suffering of the, of the Syrian people. I am so mindful hearing you speak. I am so mindful of King Abdullah's words earlier this week. This is not noble Islam. Fawaz Gerges, thank you.